What's going on, everybody? So you've seen me play Ice Bow, you've seen me play Fire Bow, but we've never ever played with this exact wizard right here. We've got the E-Wiz in our deck today. I also decided to throw in the E-Drag, um, even though, you know, it might be terrible because I wanted to try an actual, like, Electro Bow today because a lot of you have been requesting it. Um, even, like, does E-Wiz work in Expo decks? And you know what? We're going to find out that question today. Um, so I'm just going to Fire Bow's Pump. Oh, would you guys guess that? We're probably playing Giant or Golem Pump in the first game. Love to see that. Um, totally love this meta right now, but let's see. I'm probably just going to cycle the E-Drag. Oh, that was really bad timing in the back um i might get punished for that okay let's think what does he have so he's probably gonna spam with this giant right i have to go knight over here on the left side because i need him to defend if if you guys did not know the dagger duchess literally takes out the entire e-drag like it, it literally will kill the whole e-drag without one single shot on the tower it's kind of crazy that was a really bad lp by him hold up this might be good because he is gonna reset the prince here and then i can just nato everything back he was carrying me please yes he is so good guys what oh my gosh he was bow um, okay, that's going to kill most of that. I'm going to have to go for an Evo Bomber and then maybe a Knight too. Yeah, I'm going to have to Knight. Don't charge on my tower. Okay, we're fine. Wow, that actually worked out really well. <laughs> I can't believe that worked out so good. Um for like that first push especially since i dropped the e-drag like the exact same time as he put the giant like that he put the giant in the back but now we're cooking right now um i don't know this deck seems like it's got some decent synergy i've played a few games to just practice it so i didn't look like a complete bot um <laughs> when when i got on video but i'm just gonna fireball that pump and yeah that should be good if you guys didn't see my second channel is now uh, i have it up so if you want to go subscribe to that then i posted on the community tab um, i'll be doing streams and stuff on there in the uh, near future and everything so i thought i'd just let you guys know in the video because i know a lot of you um don't see the community tab posts and stuff so i'll just cycle the e-drag in the back i'll probably link it in the description of this video too maybe um but let's see he's gonna print into an e-drag very interesting <laughs> um decision from my guy phantom here wait that's oh wow he's got evos out too okay that's gonna be a dead prince and then he wastes his arrows okay this is fine i can go for the bomber since he has no spell and cycle and the knight on top of the lp yeah he knows he he knows he messed up here we got a little uh dual lane pressure um i'm gonna go expo on the left side he's got to defend this right side pretty heavily um, he also wasted a prince. That should be good. Yes, it's going to be a nice connection. He's going to giant. Now he's going to zap. So I'm going to prediction his zap with that NATO. Yep, tower down. Let's go. We even hit him with the uh, well played too. A little bit of toxic on my end, but you know, sometimes you can be a little bit toxic. I'm just going to cycle the log and that evil bomber was absolutely miserable. You should retarget this prince. Oh, I'm on point with my Ewis timings, guys. And I'm not even kidding. I don't think I've used Ewis or E-Drag in probably months. Like, <laughs> I don't play either of these cards. They're pretty bad in the meta um, overall, but I mean, I guess E-Drag I've used a couple times in like random golem decks and stuff but yeah electro wizard really gets no love anymore it's kind of sad because it's a really fun card um, but yeah we're gonna get the first dub and i mean i got a prediction he was like stunned everything um got a ton of value we can just spam everything in the pocket maybe get two crowns nah we're not gonna get it in time but nah it looks solid so far we'll have to keep testing it out hopefully get to uh, 12 wins but we'll have to see if that's even possible with this deck Okay, there's this story that I kind of want to tell that happened a few days ago. So basically, uh, let me give a little a little backstory. It's nothing crazy, but um, a lot of the times at night, if I cannot sleep, I stay up pretty late for like uh, for the average person, I guess, uh, way later than the average person most of the time. But sometimes when I can't sleep and it's like one in the morning, I'll just go to the gym and like work out um, because, you know, that's, it's a little bit relaxing and usually is empty, right? Like I can just kind of have the gym to myself and it's kind of a, a therapeutic like you know, it's just nice to have an empty gym to yourself. Um, and I was in there a couple days ago. I was feeling kind of down, so I just went um, to the gym. And, okay, that was really good timing, actually, on that. And then, yeah, I was just there for about an hour. Um, I was getting ready to leave, and then this... this uh, elder or uh, elderly gentleman um i'd seen him a couple times before just randomly at the gym um like weeks a couple weeks ago before that but i saw him and you know he just walked in and we just you know he started up a conversation with me dude and it like i don't know what it what that did but it just like I don't know. It turns out I actually knew who he was, kind of. Like, I knew his grandson. Um, and I'd never spoken to this guy before, or, like, anything. You know, he just went out of his way to <laughs> actually have a conversation with me. Um, just, like, randomly. Just, you know, little things like that just make people's days. And Loki, that made my entire day. I'm not even going to lie. Um, and I think it also made his because it was really, like, it was really, like, late slash early in the morning. And I guess um, he had just woken up and it was, like, 2 it was like two thirty in the morning, which is crazy. But um, he used to, uh, we talked a while and he talked about... He he asked me like what my job was and everything and I, I told him about it um and you know obviously they aren't really going to understand but he was listening and he asked questions and he actually like cared and that was just like dude i don't know sometimes it's just really rare to find people that actually um like you can actually have a conversation with and are actually like real humans if that makes sense because a lot of people just um kind of care about the wrong things in life at least in, from what i've seen in the last like you know a couple years of my life <laughs> it's just a lot been a lot been a while since i've had like a real 
uh, interaction with somebody that I really enjoyed it and just like appreciated their company. Um, and you know, I still, my grandparents are still around, so I really appreciate them and all the time that I um, have with them and I'm able to spend with them. But yeah, it just made me, it just made me really happy. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Just, you know, if you see somebody, um, if it looks like they're having a bad day, or even if it doesn't look like that, that you just want to talk to them, you know, they're just by themselves. Uh, say there's a group of people and they're just kind of like not in that group, then, you know, maybe just like have a conversation with them. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's not going to like, you know, what, what can, what can a conversation hurt? You know, um, that's, that's my, <laughs> that's my, um, rant for the day i guess so i'm just gonna go for the ewas in the back and i think we're actually gonna win this game i swear i swear to you guys i actually play so much better when i'm not paying attention to the game and i'm just talking <laughs> i don't know why that is it really it really makes no sense um because you'd think i'd play better when i'm focused on my plays and stuff right but i'm gonna cycle the knight in the back also i've got a clash we've got a uh, a tournament tomorrow um I'm just gonna bomber cheese this guy. Okay, that's nice. He does he does arrow that well, well played by him, I guess. But yeah, I've got a clash tournament tomorrow um, in the morning, and then there's a couple of qualifiers. Hopefully, I'm really hoping to qualify and like post a video qualifying. But we'll have to see. I am gonna give it my best. It's gonna be a, a pretty pretty long day of, of playing so we'll have to see i think oh my gosh am i dead i think i'm all right i wish i had a building at this point but i can just go for the ewes on top of all this sorry my thought process is everywhere because these eagles are just like on the map i'm gonna have to log in the nato everything back just to make sure these skellies go ahead and die i'll go for the double knights and then probably expo since i'm gonna get like fifteen thousand more elixir from these blobs and you know what honestly we're in a good situation he doesn't even okay yeah he can't even get the eagle mint out Eagle him down in time since I'm up so much elixir, and that's gonna be GG's against that Eagle him pump. I mean, <laughs> these decks are so toxic, dude. They just keep getting more toxic. I'm not even surprised when I see an elixir collector. I also really just wanted to say, like, thank you guys for all the support and stuff recently because, um, I mean, I, just the support's been crazy, to be honest. Like, I've never really expected to um, get this many views or, like, people watching and, like, enjoying my content, so it just makes me feel good. Um, when people like like and comment and stuff and i i do read all the comments somebody posted like a comment on a video like a year ago a couple days ago um or was it like two nights ago somewhere around then and they were like and i responded to it uh like the next morning or something and they were like dude wait you actually do read all your comments i thought that was just cap and i was like no i actually like i genuinely read every comment um so i'm just gonna go for the e-drag i'm actually i'm actually gonna cycle this in the back and just kind of let it let it all reset but yeah i read every single comment doesn't matter how many there are um it's just like it's just like a really fun thing to do for me i guess i also think that um you know it's important to read the comments and stuff like i know some youtubers that don't even read them at all um and i think it, besides like the first couple minutes which is you know that's what you're supposed to do i guess um read the first couple comments if you want to get like that just that just helps the video do good i guess technically or something i don't really know how it works i'm not like the biggest analytic uh, nerd ever but apparently that helps your video and stuff if you just respond to the first couple of comments and like the win the first few minutes but i don't really know um but i think you should respond to at least like majority of your comments and i know a lot of people get tons and tons and tons so it's kind of impossible but um i think that's i think it's really important that's also that's also kind of why i've wanted to um start streaming and have been streaming because of a uh, similar that similar reason right there so i'm just gonna log this bomber make sure it dies because that is gonna get a couple hits on my tower okay he's gonna have to respond to this knight plus e-drag um and Loki, this deck's cooking, guys. I don't know. I feel pretty good with it so far. E-Drag kind of takes the place of a building. You don't really need a building, so I figured this might work out. I could have gone... Uh, dude, you know what I should have done? I should have had Tesla in this deck. That could have been a full, like, Electro deck. But at the same time, if I have Tesla, you as an E-Drag, I'm not going to win any games. Because um, it's just, like, too expensive. So I'm going to go for the Fireball on the Pump. Pump is so annoying, guys. I just keep facing it every single match. Um, I guess I could have had Lightning in here, too. Then we might as well not even run an Expo at that point. Because I just, like, there's no way I'm ever going to use it. Um, so I'm just going to go for the E-Drag. I'm trying to make the most realistic Electro Bow deck that I can. That can actually maybe win me some games. So I'm going to go e -Wiz. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I'll cycle a log and then I guess NATO everything up. Protect my e -Wiz and then go for the Knight since everything is going to reset on top of that Knight. Really good defense for what I had in cycle. I thought it might be cooked for a second there. Um, but e -Wiz should shut down the majority of this. Um, I do have to go Bomber on top of this egg. I think that should take it out, please. No way that doesn't take it out. The stupid tower didn't shoot because it was out of daggers. Oh, this is so bad, guys. I got to fireball the pump. No, no, no. We're cooked, I think, here. I've got to play, like, a ma like immaculate defense if I'm going to have any chance of winning. Um, but I'm just going to cycle the E-Drag in the back. Also, there's been, like, so many new members and stuff recently. So I appreciate everybody that uh, has become a member. And if you, if you are a member right now, I know there's some of you. If you are a member, you can um, DM me on Twitter which is, I will, I will, um, my Twitter's in my, um, YouTube banner thing, whatever you call that. 
So if you are wondering how to get my friend link and you have like you are a member of my channel, you can DM me on there because I know it's a lot of people have been confused like, well, how do I get the friend link? Uh, once I do become a member, and that is how. So I thought I'd put that out there as well, just giving you all the details today. I'm gonna cycle the um, E was in the back. Okay, okay, this is good. Okay, he's gonna go in for a push. I'm gonna knight early. Wow, this is kind of sketchy, but Evil Bomber should clean up the majority of this. Oh my goodness, look at the value this is about to get. Oh my gosh, Evil Bomber, please get deleted from this game. Um, it's funny like how you have to have an Evil Bomber or something broken in your deck to even have a chance against these like any decks in this meta. Um, it's just kind of sad, but it is how the game is. Unfortunately, I'm gonna cycle the U's in the back, and I think this could be pretty good. Going into triple, we are decently even on tower damage. I'll go for the knights in front of the e -wiz, and then I think I just space things out to go for a little E-drag the bridge. Okay, that's a very aggressive bomber, my good sir. Yeah, we're gonna hold up the bridge here with the E-drag and the e -wiz. I'm gonna bomber to the side, just space everything out, and then I'm actually gonna e -wiz like this, reset the little prince, and then Evo knight in front of it to tank, and we've got a little dual lane pressure coming for this guy. This is what we love to see. I think this is how I gotta play this deck, a little dual lane um, like split lane push. He has to defend that knight or he's gonna take so much damage. What is he doing? He's gonna take damage no matter what now. Yeah, knight's on tower on the right side. Um, he's gonna, wow, this guy is throwing. He's gotta defend that right side still. I'm gonna go knight plus he was in front of this. And I think he's gonna pack his bags and call it a day after that one. I think we just absolutely destroyed him. Just were patient, then he overcommitted at the bridge. And really that's all you have to do is wait for them to overcommit once. Okay, I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but like I fix my sleep schedule, right? And then I'll randomly just fall asleep at like 7 p.m. for like an hour. And then I literally cannot fall asleep the entire night until like three in the morning. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's happened to me so many times. Like I'll just be, um, I'm not, I don't like fall asleep while recording, but I'll be like recording a video or doing something. And then I'll just like lay down for a minute because I'm tired. I'm like, I need a break. And then I genuinely just <laughs> crash for like, I don't even know, for like at least an hour. And then I'm just wide awake again. It's, it feels like I've slept an entire day um, in that short hour, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's just me that's that, that that's happened to, but um, it happened to me the other day and now my sleep schedule's ruined again, but I'm gonna cycle the bomber in the back. Hopefully my internet can upload this video in time as well. Um, you know, that country Wi-Fi. I know the stream sometimes lags a little bit, but uh, not really much I can do about it for where I live. It's okay though. You know, I'm just gonna do my best. That's all you can really ever do, right? So I'm just gonna go for the E-drag to the side and okay, Tesla in the middle. What is this guy playing? I really have not been paying any attention. Um, a little prince, well, that could have guessed that one. Um, if you had to put money on like seeing one card, like guaranteeing that you're gonna face one specific card, I think I'd put my money on the little prince because it's like 95% of decks. <laughs> and I'm not even over exaggerating. Like I used to over exaggerate about it a lot, but no, it's genuinely like 90% of decks. Oh, of course he's gonna pop the ability. I guess I gotta go bomber here, uh, which kind of sucks, but you know, I'd rather, oh, I'm just gonna let this go. I don't wanna waste the whole night. I'd rather go expo on offense than try and create some uh, like counter push or something um, than just kind of uh, over commit on that guardian. Okay, he's got the Tesla back in cycle. I probably should to put the knight down nah he's apt as well you know what i'm okay with that um, i could have predicted better at the bridge all right he's beaming me guys i can't get beamed now i don't think he's actually beaming i think he's just sweating because the game's uh intense but now nah, there's definitely a difference <laughs> i want to probably cycle the knight in the back once again right here and you know this deck i mean genuinely it looks decent right the tornado works really good with the e-dragon the one problem with the e is, is it just doesn't have that like dps that it needs i think ewis could use a slight buff very very slight because i'm not trying to have an ewis dominate the entire meta it does have decent range but it doesn't have that that dps um uh, that a lot of the other four and three elixir like support cards do if that makes sense so i'm gonna go knight i knew he's gonna tesla um he does have the evil tesla this time which is fine he's gonna go for that oh he's gonna waste his zap as well dang it i already logged i was already like spamming it we do get a decent connection but was that worth it i don't know we get the ewis shot on the left as well uh, I think that was worth it. We get a decent bit of damage down to 2,500. Um, this is going to be a close game just because his deck is like really broken and mine is very bad <laughs> in terms of meta aspect. So I'm probably just going to cycle an Ebus in the back. That actually is a bad Tesla because it's not going to hit my Expo. So not really sure what he's cooking right there. Oh, dang it. It is going to barely pop up to kill my E-Drag though, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to go for the... Hmm, what is the play here? I, <laughs> I don't know, guys. What is the play? I guess I can just let this eagle, or not eagle, ice golem kind of die. We get a nice little chip connection with that um, expo. We'll take that for sure. He's going to go for the miner, but my dagger duchess has full HP. So you guys know that the miner only gets two hits when um, dagger duchess has all his daggers. So I'm going to go for the expo with this e -wiz. Actually, I'm going to bomber up high first, and then I'm going to expo. Um, okay, well, that was that was pretty well played by him, to be honest. I thought that maybe he'd predict the Tesla. That's why I wanted to go bomber up high first and, like, try and get him to waste his Tesla on that. But didn't really work out. <laughs> worked out better in my head. You guys ever, like, predictions always work out better in my head. Um, but I'm just going to cycle the knight in the back. He's going to go for another miner here, probably. Yeah, is that going to... 
No, the knight just barely did not catch up to that miner, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, how am I gonna win this? Um, <laughs> this is tough, guys. I need like I need like multiple knights if I'm gonna have any chance of uh, breaking through. So he's gonna LP and Evo Tesla. Oh, this is rough. This is very rough. Okay. Um, he might pop the ability. No, he's not going to. So we can just cycle an E drag in the back. I think E drag might be the key here. I'm trying to get some kind of chain or like lineup on. Uh, things and maybe maybe potentially get on tower that could be ideal i'm gonna go for the night wait i could evo bomber nato no nah, i'm gonna evo's first nice we are gonna catch the tesla hold up i can maybe cook here i'm actually gonna pre-log the little prince please nice we hit that again nato as well we're gonna get a connection oh my gosh dude my predictions are on points he does get the guardian off but it's too late uh, my ex was already on tower so i'm just gonna keep playing it slow don't no need to panic now uh, i am gonna knight this miner so i don't take too much damage and he also is gonna lp um i guess i'll bomber to help kill that so he's gonna waste or like try and predict the tesla at the bridge i'll go evo's here we gotta kind to sack our e to help um like get some offensive pressure <laughs> 29 seconds left i just need to keep enough pressure on to where he can't oh, 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 oh that's that's yeah evil tesla counters my entire deck i'm not gonna lie that was kind of a good play but he has to i mean at least he had to spend a lot of elixir yeah i'm gonna go for the double fireball i think this is the move if i can just catch a miner we should be all right here i'm gonna go knight in the back and then i'll cycle my e -wiz. i'm gonna go for the um nato on defense to pull the to pull the miner and then fireball and then log as well we're gonna win this game let's go guys that got way too close i didn't really know have or like have any idea what i was doing at the end right there um it's kind of the most awkward spell cycle that i've ever done in my life but we are gonna pull this one off and get the win against the very meta deck you know minor poison gets put down by e drag e whiz bow all right, you know what? I'm going to go for one more. Let's go for one more game, see if we can finish off with another dub. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck, to be honest, so why not? Also, I saw a lot of you that wanted me to make a longer mid ladder video after yesterday, because honestly, I think that was one of my favorite videos I've ever recorded, um, even though it was very short, like 12 minutes or something. But um, I'll probably be doing mid ladder Monday, starting up on this next Monday. Um, but anyways, with that out of the way, let's see. I'm just going to go for the E-Drag. Honestly, my deck kind of looks like I'm playing Golem at first because I've got the Knight, I've got the Bomber, and then I've got the E-Drag. So all three cards you see in, in the Golem decks. Um, so that's probably what a lot of people think. But then when I drop the E-Wiz, things get a little awkward. <laughs> I'm going to go for the E-Wiz in the back, and then I guess I'll Expo on the right lane. Um, actually, no, nah, I'm not going to do that yet. I think I'll just log these guards and just wait for him to keep defending because I don't want to give away my expo too soon. Um, it's like my, kind of like my surprise factor. I guess I could Evo Bomber. He's going to log. I'll cycle the Bomber in the back now in the opposite lane. Um, we're pretty much want to go, want to be going opposite lane of all of our opponents. He's going to go for the Mortar. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I'm debating on going Expo the Bridge, but I think I'll just E-Drag the Mortar to uh, take it out. I don't really want to, you know, like I said, don't want to waste my Expo, and I want it to actually get, like, good value if I am going to use it. Like, right here, I'm going to Expo on this side since he wasted 5 Elixir with that Queen, and I don't think he has that much Elixir. Um, he's got the Knight. Okay, I want to go for the Log on this left side. Please don't pop the ability. Oh, he's not going to pop... Whoa, that's actually a big connection. Let's go, guys. He's not going to pop the ability on the Archer Queen because he thought maybe I would defend it, and then I just waited and was a little bit patient. <laughs> this game's all about patience, dude. If you, guys, if you guys have been watching me enough, like, you know this game is literally all about patience um, and waiting for your opponents to make mistakes because pretty much everyone in this game makes mistakes. Like, you're going to make a mistake at some point in um, a match, right? You're not going to play an entire game flawlessly, and if you do, then you're Mohammed Knight, all right? So I'm just going to go for the... He was in the back. I guess Bomber is just kind of a waste because it's just going to go and die. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Bomber. I mean, maybe I should have went with the Knight in front. But he's got his evil Knight, so I'm going to go ahead and play mine. Okay, Ewis is a lot faster than I like expected walking. So it is going to go in front of the Knight. Really unfortunate right there for me. I'm going to go for the Natal plus Log to kill the Archer Queen. Um, no, that was actually a really good Ice Spear by him because now my Bomber is going to die to a Log. Wow, well played. That was well played. Um, but low-key, we're still fine. Ewis should reset this Mortar, and then he gets no hits on Tower. Um, he does have the Evolution Mortar next up, so that could be a little bit scary for me. Um, depending on what he wants to do with it. So there's the evil mortar. We can go for the knight, get the E-drag down right away. I'm going to play it to the side a little bit this time in case he wants the queen. Yeah, it is going to chain on top of that queen, which is good. I can fireball all this, and then that should chain. Nice, E-drag. You're so OP. I love you. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a close game again. I can already tell. He's going to prediction. I didn't even need to walk that. Just my reaction. Like It's just my normal reaction to seeing guards on the map. Um, okay, there's the mortar. We're going to go for the knight like this, and then let's go for an offensive bow. Let's try and be aggressive. He is going to go for the queen. Okay. Um, let's E-drag as well. This is really aggressive, but I want to get a connection. That would be so ideal right now. Um, he does have the guards. All right, all right, all right. Let's go for the... 
He was on top of the mortar. We get a lock on. Wait. Oh no, I should have played the oh, I should have logged. I should have pre-logged. And I played a bad NATO right there. I'm selling, guys. I'm selling. I finally had a connection. I just sold it. No. Okay, it's fine. He's probably gonna go for another mortar though. So I am gonna play my knight to the inside tile on top of his Evo Knight. And that should take care of that perfect. We know he's gonna just mortar the bridge every time he can. Um e drag, please clean this thing up. I'm gonna fireball just to kill the um help kill the queen. I don't really wanna have to deal with the queen, is like my my thought process here. Um he is gonna guard. Okay, okay, that's fine. If he wants to pop the ability, I can just log. Um, which it looks like he is going to do, so I'll just log that off the map. He's going to mortar, so I'm going to prediction bomber right now. Maybe? Please? What? Why would he not mortar? The one time I go for the prediction, guys. Okay, let's see. He is going to go mortar now, so I'll drop the E-drag, and then I'm going to have to go knight in the middle. Um, he does kind of predict with guards, but that's a little bit of a waste in my opinion. Um, E-drag should retarget that queen as well. Nice, that's really good. And then that should be a dead mortar for the most part. Never mind, I lied. Okay, I need this mortar to not shoot anymore. That would be ideal. Gonna cycle the E's in the back because we know he's gonna pop the queen ability. I do have to sack my uh, E drag, um, which kind of sucks. But at this point, as long as I don't take like a mortar shot or something, I should be able to win this game. So I'm gonna expo just to force some pressure from him. I'm not just allow him to sit back and play defense. So, okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna E was on top of this mortar like immediately and then log. Okay, this might actually be a little bit sketchy. Um, okay, 30 seconds left. I'm gonna E drag on the left and then Evo bomber on the right to take out the mortar. Okay, this is still fine, I think. Um, he's gonna poison like nothing right there. I don't know what that poison was, but I'm gonna fireball his tower and then let's see what he does. He does pop the ability. Okay, I gotta go for the log and then I've also got an E Wiz on this. Oh, I'm selling, guys. I'm selling really bad. Now we're fine. I, fi I think we're fine. Uh, I'm just gonna bomber. I need to get back to another ground unit. Where are my ground units? Holy cow, E Wiz, get down. Please do not shoot my tower mortar. Okay, holy cow, guys. <laughs> Wait, that was way too close of a finish, but we are going to pull this one off. Uh, mortar almost connected on my tower is very, very close. I don't know if that would have been enough, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this e e this uh, Electro Bow video. It was a lot of fun to record, and if you did, make sure you leave a like, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with the next video. Peace.